The original idea behind this research was that evidence in the field of voluntary service and volunteering is overwhelmingly anecdotal. And therefore, we wanted to find out if there were any studies, reports or existing research that's out there that demonstrates the impact of voluntary service on the young volunteers. From an Irish perspective, a recent survey showed an increase in volunteering and community involvement over the last four years. So I think that's good news, particularly when you consider how busy people's lives are with family and work and business commitments, and I know certainly in certain parts of Ireland, increasing commuting times. The uh, one thing that we should be able to do with detailed research would be to improve the quality of voluntary service. If we know what kind of service impacts what kind of, has what kind of impact, then we should be able to tailor our service, our service programs and our service, pre-service training and our um, accompaniments, counselling and mentorship during service and in, in post service training and, and, um, uh, and advice work on how to maximise the impact of voluntary service, especially of particular kinds of programme for particular kinds of impact. If the potential is there to, to upscale voluntary service, to, to make use of its potential as a toolbox for social change, then voluntary service has got to be prepared to accept something like the cold light of empirical research, the cold light of evidence-based policy shined upon it, it's going to have to become more and more skilled at and adept at using research and using empirical monitoring evaluation tools and to be able to demonstrate that it can have an impact, the magnitude of the impact, the nature of the impact, and what the conditions are, the preconditions are for maximizing that impact according to um, the, the goals which have been set for it. Uh, we do need personal commitment to, from uh, people more and more. Uh, we've got to, uh, to keep our society together. And I think it's not just, uh, you know, young people or indeed senior citizens. Uh, you know, all these uh, uh, things uh, have to be done by many people. So we want as many people as possible to be involved, whether it be in the commission, in the council. Um, we uh, want uh, these voluntary services uh, uh, to become a, a, an over-the-board service throughout the European Union. And I uh, hope uh, that uh, this will also uh, enable us to take a closer look at the preconditions, the criteria whereby these uh, services uh, can be offered in a qualified way and obtain results. The aim of the study, firstly, was to document the nature and scope of service in SADC. Now, when I use the word service, I'm meaning civic service. Uh, Steve talked about voluntary service. That, too, is a feature of this type of service. Um, we also then looked at volunteering, but we'll come to talk about the relationship between those two terms in our region. But um, the Global Service Institute is particularly interested in service. Um, to those of you who live and work in a European context, that might sound like a strange criterion. Surely there are experience in country researchers. That is not the case. Firstly, for two, for two reasons. Firstly, service and volunteering is not a field in Africa. It is not an area of investigation in, in the academic community. It is a new area, although there's lots of activity around it, but it is not a sphere of inquiry. But large numbers of poor people volunteer across all the countries in the region, which is a fascinating finding because it's, it shows that there is a, a difference uh, between first world and uh, developing societies. The servers were mainly women. And of those women who, who served in community-based uh, HIV AIDS programs especially, those were mainly older women. <laughs> Now, our research, as I said, um, points to mutuality of benefits to both parties. Um, the service had very strong cultural and religious motivations. They had a great desire to build democracies and building democratic participation at a very local level. Um, they were also committed to, uh, they participated because they perceived themselves to, to gain both as individuals and that their communities would benefit. Globalization and the world getting so small, I think these are issues that 
there in Africa, we're in Europe, but we can tackle together and we can look at experiences, mutual experiences, and learn from each other. And, you know, voluntary service, volunteering, we all know, contributes to economic development, to social development, to political development, to democracy, and the personal development of the server. So I think we have there enough stuff to get going and, and start cooperating. Um, one of AFSO's aims is to advocate for more inclusive volunteer service programs. And the topic of um, inclusion work has become a quite current topic today. It is receiving much more attention as it should. And so we felt the need to look into this in more det detail. And as Agnes said, we wanted to also keep in mind the European thematic years. But not only the European thematic years, uh, the year of 2008, of intercultural uh, dialogue, but also the European year of 2007 of equal opportunities for all. So why are we doing this research? The migration trends, especially since the Second World War, have diversified the European nations. And at the same time, discrimination and racism is increasing. Um, according to a special European, uh, Europe barometer on discrimination in the, in the EU, which was published in January 2007, so this year, it specified that 64% of European citizens had perceived discrimination on the basis of ethnic origin. Uh, well, you might know that in 2001, the European Commission has adopted a white paper called uh, New Impetus for European Youth, and uh, voluntary activities of young people were one of the four priorities, the others being participation, information, and a better knowledge, which already makes a first link to our second topic of, uh, of today. And in uh, 2002, the uh, Council of Youth Ministers adopted a resolution uh, on cooperation in the youth field. They just decided they would like to cooperate closer. And one of the topics uh, in which they were, on which they wanted to, the member states want to cooperate closer is volunteering, in fact. As far as the recognition is concerned, um, it is so important because it is the bridge between education and employment and voluntary activities can really facilitate this difficult transition phase. It has already been mentioned uh, before. And uh, we do not see much use of already existing instruments. Volunteerism is really a significant part of youth policies and youth activities. Last week, at the G8, as the G8 summit got underway, the United Nations launched an update on the progress towards the Millennium Development Goals in Sub-Saharan Africa. The report showed that despite progress, the continent rem remains significantly off track to meeting the global goals for fighting poverty. Volunteering is an effective and essential means to achieve the Millennium Development Goals and it can only be achieved with the full involvement of people all over the world. In the same way, let us work together to ensure the fulfillment of commitments made by the international community for the building of knowledge in, on volunteerism and facilitating a common agenda for research, especially in developing countries, relevant to policy making and enhancing the contribution of volunteerism to peace and development. We can ignore the educational value that voluntary service has not only for the territory where it is uh, given, but also for the person that make it. This is why, you know, the, uh, let's say, the uh, definitions of voluntary service and voluntarism are so wide. Uh, we can go from the development, the international development, where voluntary service is, is a, a professional voluntary service with the uh, professionals that give voluntary their service to, to a society, to, uh, to other forms of voluntary service which are not paid, like, for example, the voluntary service foreseen in the EVS. And, uh, uh, but still, the discussion about this issue is extremely important. And I, re I really think that we are in the, in the good situation now to, to, uh, to make a step further to this.